everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. All right, <clears throat> we're going to do a springtime little craft today. It's going to be adorbs, right? So we are going to be using this page. Here, I'll put it on here. This page from the 2023 Home Sweet Home Calendar from the Dollar Tree. And this, again, is the page that we will be using. It is January, February, March, April. It is April's page. So we'll put our calendar behind us. <coughs> We're going to be using bunches of Dollar Tree flowers. I have this um, sign. This sign is, um, where is my, it actually hung this way, and this is from Walmart, but look at this piece of wood. You can get this at the Dollar Tree all day long and just give it a whitewash like they did, okay? And I'm just doing this one. I have to go to the doctor's today. Nothing important, just a regular three months diabetic thing check-in so um, just for time's sake I thought that I would go ahead and use a already uh, whitewashed board and we are going to be using one of these little palettes from the Dollar Tree as well you don't even need to take the sticker off because we are going to be covering that so the first thing I need to do is cut out my freshly picked, and I'm just going to give that a rough pick, a rough cut. There's a cute little bee on here we might save. I didn't notice that the first time around here as I was getting ready for our craft today. But there's a cute little bee, so maybe we'll save him if I don't forget. All right, so we're going to cover the palette with the words that say freshly picked. So it's not going to fit perfectly, so we are going to have a little extra on both sides of the dark part of this. And I am going to Mod Podge this right onto my palette. You can use the purple glue stick if you would prefer, but I am going to just Mod Podge this on with the makeup brush because that seems to be the trick with the Mod Podging. Um, I don't know where I learned it. I saw it on somebody else's channel but they are right this is definitely the best hack for putting on make sure you get your ends really good all the ends so that your paper stays down nice and snug but um yeah i don't know how they learned it either but it just seems to be perfect all right so let's put our paper down Get a scraper from the Dollar Tree and let's just scrape that so that we don't have any bubbles. Nice and smooth. Just like that. Now, I was thinking about sanding in between the words, you know, because it's hollow on the other side, but I think I like it like that. So I'm going to stick with what I have. I'm just going to cut off my excess paper here, and then we'll sand it down. But I'm going to put it aside until my Mod Podge dries, and then I will sand that down. But this is perfect. We have no wrinkles, and there is our freshly picked. All right, so let's put that aside for a moment. Let that dry up. Actually, maybe I will take um, the blow dryer to it. My goodness, we have crud around Mod Podge cap. I can't even get the cover back on here. All right. And I think I got it. All right, there we go. So let's dry this up real quick so that we can place it on our board. 
and start putting our board together. There's no wrinkles in this at the moment, but if there were, this heat would get them out. If you wear rings, be very careful when montaging because your paper is wet and it will rip. It will rip if you uh, snag your rings on it. my ends good so I can sand. All right, now we'll get our little sanding block out and we'll give that a good little sanding on the edges. It's a great way to trim it. Makes it fit like a glove. Of course, we have a little hollow spot. So we'll just have to take that out with our fingernails. And we have to do this side. And I think I trimmed, we'll do it anyway. But I think I trimmed off the um, top and bottom pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna snip off those pieces where the there is no wood behind them to sand. There we go. Just like a glove. We'll sand the top and bottom anyway, but I think we did a pretty good job. I like to get my corners, you know that. I like to give it a lot of distressing, but if you don't like to do a lot of the distressing, then you tone that down. Do it your way. All right. So now I have my freshly picked. There's a glare, I know. Okay, so now let's put some things back where they belong now we are going to hot glue this right down to the bottom of our board not to the very bottom I do want to leave a little bit of wood showing down there so let's see if our glue gun is all ready it looks like it is so we're going to put a good amount now you can add wood glue to this as well if you want to I don't feel the need to do that today so I'm just going to go and the two runners on these pallets fit perfectly on the board so it is pretty easy to center you are going to have a little bit of your freshly picked hanging over the sides that. So we'll hold this down. Holding, holding, holding. I'll take a sip of my sweet tea. Peach sweet tea. My fave. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I think while we're gluing this down, I'm going to give it a little tiny bit of, you know what? That's too wet for my paper. I'm going to give it a little bit of the dark sealing wax. We'll just zhuzh it up for a minute while we're drying it. Let me get a good stiff stencil brush. And I just want to, I want to just take the glare off. So I'm just going over the paper with a little bit of the antiquing dark wax which is waxier than, the, the Waverly is wet. Yeah, this is much better, much better. Don't have as much of the glare. And I like the distressing part of it too. I don't like everything stark white. I don't know what that, it's just me. If you do, sometimes if I like it white, I want it all white, right? I want the whole project white. I do like an all white project. How's that? A little bit better, right? All right, now we're gonna make a bouquet of fresh, of fresh picked flowers from the Dollar Tree. 
So I'm just going to start snipping and tucking, snipping and tucking. And if we need to put a little bit of, um, if we need to put, so right now I just have this little fern thing. If we need to put a little bit of moss in it at the end, we will. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue and I'm going to stick this one in right over here. And there's another fern here. I think I can just snip. Oh, 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 oh. We can use this little wire here. All right. That might be too much. Snip it again. So now comes the filling, right? We're just doing all of the filling. And you do you, because I am not the best for teaching flower arranging at all. But I like to have a little fun with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right, I'm going to take this last piece, which has flowers with the fern and I'm going to stick that down in the middle. Give it a good amount of glue so it touches somewhere and glues somewhere. I'm going to stick that right down as far as I can go in the middle. Hold it down and glue it. So we have kind of a base, right? Now I want to put um, a few of these white flowers down in and I think the thing to flower arranging whoops is not so much that you do a little on each side a little on each I think you're supposed to do it more so in odd numbers glue that down so, how was your weekend, everybody? It went by really fast. I was very, very busy. I ended up getting my pressure washer out to do, uh, to pressure wash my house because it really needed it. It's white. I have white siding and it was not green, but definitely getting dirty. And so I had to pressure wash the house. And then my neighbor, who's in her 80s, came over and um, she started helping us with moving, like, I don't know how to explain it, but she started helping us. And um, then we looked at her house and said, listen, when we're done with our house, this is my roommate and I, we're going to come over and do your house. All right, I'm going to go with, hmm. The thing is, I think I'm going to go with some springy colors now. Okay, look at how beautiful that is. So I'm going to start picking those, but I don't want all these big leaves. If I do want a leaf, I will take my leaf and I will cut it off and do it singly. If I feel later that I need some leaves. But right now... I'm just going to stick this beautiful color flower. I'm going to shorten my stem because we don't have a lot of room behind our palette. And now I'm going to steal one of these beautiful stems. And these are all from the Dollar Tree. Every one of my flowers is all from the Dollar Tree. Stick this one in, maybe behind here. Yeah. I want another one of these bouquets are beautiful. Beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous. I love what the, the Dollar Tree is doing this year with the flowers. I love that they do a little dusting, which makes them so much more high end right stick that down in there bend it 
All right, I'm gonna throw some pink in and then we'll do some moss and some, oh look, I have a, oh look, I have a, a flocking ball. I think that he was meant to be on here. He came out with all the other ones. So let's add a flocking ball. Why not? Let there be flocking balls. We'll stick him right down in the front there. All right, I want to add some pink. And I think I might just, let's see. I might cut some of this head off. It might be too big. Unless, let me try it without glue first. Oh yeah, that's going to be gorgeous. I don't even... I'm going to stick it where it is and put a little glue because I'm happy with the placement, so that'll be fine. Maybe a little bit more white in the back. A little bit more white. So I got quite a long stem here because I want this one to be tall and in the back. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna just get a little bit of my moss, Spanish moss, excuse me for practically standing on my head. And I am just going to put, we didn't, we couldn't fill up our container because it's only this thick, right? So we couldn't fill that beforehand. So we're gonna just tuck and cheat after the fact and put just a little bit of moss running along the bottom so we don't see our stems. See, we're gonna cover this. See all those raw? We're just gonna cover that with moss, okay? So what I like to do is kind of make like a hot dog out of it and it kind of stretches it a little. And then once I have it, if it's too tight, I just fluff it up. All right, and then I'm just gonna go with a whole bunch of hot glue. We're probably gonna run out of our stick here. Whoop. Uh, I know, I know. I saw, you saw that, Bill. I know. All right, well, I think Bill makes that happen. Do you think he has like a, a tele telepathy? <laughs> How did I get this weird glue stick? This doesn't look like it even matches anything. All right, well, we did a, hot, a whole bunch of glue and we're just gonna stick that down in the front there. Then we'll take a little bit, a pinch here and a pinch there and stick it in and out where we think it would be cute. A little there. And then it makes it kind of look like it's been in your arrangement all along. Fake it till you make it, right? Fake it till you make it. All right. One more little bit. That's almost too much of a bit. And we'll stick this little bit over here. Just like so. And there is our a beautiful, well, I think I will put one more little bit. One more little bit. One more little bit. I used to have a cat named Little Bit. <laughs> Rest in peace, Little Bit. Rest in peace. All right, that's perfect now. So here, is our beautiful bouquet. What do we think? Do we think that these ferns need to go in a little bit more? I think they're perfect. Freshly picked. Now I'm going to clean up my moss real quick. And then I want to put a little jute. A little jute we need a leaf anywhere? Let me see. Yeah, let's stick our leaf in here. Why not? We plucked it off. Stick it 
stick it right behind these white flowers. Just like so. All right, so put this beside me for a second so I can just, I can't stand the moss, you guys. I can't, I cannot, like, I have to stop. I can't craft anymore because of this moss. I just can't. Okay, now that we have that oh, all over us, we're gonna take our board back and we're gonna take some jute, Dollar Tree jute, and I'm gonna wrap it around the back here I, I'm going to hold it with my thumb I mean in the back and then I'm just going to wrap 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 keep wrapping and crisscrossing and going over each other and under each other and just filling up a spot with some jute up here and then I am going to cut it and glue it in the back well, I guess I will glue it first, <laughs> right, using my, I'm going to tie it off to the rest of this piece here that I left hanging. I'm going to tie that off. Why not? Just secures it a little bit more. Let's go, fingers. So I had a busy, busy weekend pressure washing, and it took a lot out of me. I'll tell you what, I got sunburned again. Even though I had 70, look it, I had 70, I don't know if you can tell, but I had 70 um, protection on, and it was a good one, Neutrogena. So... I don't know. We flattened one of our flowers here. <laughs> Let me move my jute up just a little if I can slide it up. Just a little. Okay, look. What a cute little detail that added, right? Now we're going to take the jute hanger that came with it, which is more of a nautical rope, and it was hanging this way, and we are going to attach that to the back. You know what? I kind of want... I kind of want some colorful beads, but then it might take away from the flowers. Yeah, we'll just go with the jute. All right, so we're just going to, we don't need quite this much jute, so I'm just going to hang it to there, cut off some of our jute, and we are just going to give it a good amount of glue. Stick our jute in, press it in. And so pressure washing was, yeah, very, very tiresome. I have to go to the doctors today, and then I have to go to the dermatologist tomorrow. And finally, I think I will get the results of the biopsies that they did. So I went two weeks later to get the stitches out and they did not have the results of the biopsy yet. Which even they thought was a little weird. Look at me gluing myself to everything here. It's all right, we'll just let it sit. It wants to string away. Let me clean this up. As I'm using my paintbrush and as a hot glue holder, and I don't want to do that. I want that to stay nice. All right, and this should be a finished project. I think the, the flowers are the centerpiece, so we don't want to add a bow, but you could. You could, and you could a add a beaded hanger. I love beaded hangers, but sometimes I overdo it. Everything doesn't need to have a beaded hanger, right? I'm just cutting some little doodads off. This came out adorable. Adorable. Freshly picked. What do we think? Cute, right? 
This is the back. So see, you have a little overhang on both sides. Adorable. This is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. Sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this video with all your friends, family, and social media. It really does help my channel grow. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button because when we grow to 700 subscribers, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree giveaway. So you'll want to be subscribed to win that. All right, everybody. Um, Ring that bell too if you want to, if you want YouTube to let you know each and every time I upload a new video. So I will probably I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday Tree Hall. And until then, I hope you all be good and do good. Bye now.